We are here today to announce that 88 defendants have been charged across the state for alleged for their alleged roles in a massive fraud upon the Georgia Women's Infant and Children Program, commonly known as WIC, and also the Food Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, uh, also known as the SNAP Program, and more commonly referred to as the Food Stamp Program. Uh, this case is one of the largest federal food program fraud cases ever prosecuted in this country. In a single indictment unsealed today, uh, 54 defendants or less have opened up over a dozen phony grocery stores in Savannah, Macon, Atlanta, and across other places in the state for the purpose of buying WIC and food stamp benefits for cash. Now, this act activity is commonly referred to as trafficking. Uh, according to an indictment, these uh, the defendants would pay cash for WIC and food stamp benefits. Uh, they would pay a fraction of the amount of the WIC and food stamp benefit and then redeem the benefit for the full amount with the United States Department of Agriculture. Sellers would get cash, buyers would get more, and little to no food would be exchanged uh, for the transactions. According to the indictment, <clears throat> this operation defrauded WIC and food stamp programs out of over $18 million. In addition to the larger indictment, uh, 34 other defendants have been charged in separate uh, indictments. Each of these defendants are also alleged to have sold their federal food benefits or the benefits, benefits of their children uh, for cash. These indictments chart, and you will notice that these indictments charge both the buyer of the benefits and also the, the, the sellers, those individuals who sold their benefits. With the assistance of many federal and local agents, a number of arrests have been made today. Um, Jim Durham is just giving you the numbers of folks taken into custody. That, that action is still ongoing. Initial appearances will be conducted today and tomorrow in federal courts across the state of Georgia. The purpose behind the food, federal food stamp program, uh, programs such as WIC and SNAP, is to provide nutritional foods to our most needy citizens. You know, I find it appalling that I stand here today to talk about another multi-million dollar fraud against taxpayers and the United States government. Just a year ago, this district, the Southern District of Georgia, completed a prosecution of an $8 million WIC and food stamp fraud case involving other phony gro grocery stores. A former Atlanta school teacher, Rochella Reed, received a 14-year prison sentence last year for her role in that fraud. Indictments and arrests like these will, be hopefully, will hopefully send a strong message to would-be WIC and food stamp traffickers that you will be investigated, arrested, and prosecuted for stealing taxpayer-funded benefits.